rational root theorem uh, what's the possible root of this thing? So from the rational root theorem we know that if this thing is to have rational roots it has to be in the form p over q where p is factors of this constant term so factors of 5 are 1 and 5 and q are factors of this um, leading coefficient so the leading coefficient is 3 so factors of 3 are 1 and 3 you go ahead and make every single possible combination you can out of these. So what I like to do if I choose the 1 as, a, as the denominator, I have 1 over 1 and 5 over 1, so 1 and 5. And if I choose 3 as the denominator, I'll have, I'll have 1 over 3 and 5 over 3, so 1 third and 5 thirds. And I get a plus or minus of every single one of these. And so those are, if a rational root exists, it has to be one of those. And so, so we go and, oh. There it is right away, negative 5, bam. Negative 3 is not there, just making sure we didn't miss anything, none of these other ones are there. The answer is A, we're done. Now the interesting thing about this question is that you really do have to know the rational root theorem to get it. And we were warned in the domain um, uh, requirements that it was one of the things we needed to know. But if you go and test all of these, like none of them work. Um, in fact, I don't think any of these work either. Um, so I don't know if this thing even has any rational roots, but if it did, it would be one of those. And